Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about atrial fibrillation. In atrial fibrillation, AF, the atria no longer contract in uniform fashion, but its activity is chaotic and mechanically ineffective, going at around 300 to 600 beats per minute. The atrioventricular node which transmits the atrial impulses to the ventricles only manages to conduct some of the impulses, and so there is an irregular ventricular response. AF is common in the elderly. Between 5-10% to of those aged above 65 have AF. Problems encountered with AF is that, of cardiac, is that cardiac output can drop by 10-20%. to 20%. The main risk with AF is clot formation and an embolic stroke. The mainstay of management involved is rate control and anticoagulation. Some of the causes to look out for in AF are as listed. Heart failure, ischemia, hypertension, myocardial infarction, pulmonary embolism, mitral valve disease, pneumonia, hyperthyroidism, caffeine, alcohol, postoperatively, and electrolyte imbalances. Some people may have AF but be completely asymptomatic. Symptoms can include chest pain, palpitations, difficulty in breathing, and faintness. On examination, you will note an irregularly irregular pulse, and then on ECG, you will see that there are no P waves and the QRS complexes are irregular. Here you see the normal sign of ECG. There is a P wave before every QRS complex, and the QR, QRS complexes are regular, as seen by the regular R, R intervals depicted by the yellow arrows. An ECG showing atrial fibrillation is different as can be seen here. There is no P wave before the QRS complex. As an example I circled a QRS complex here there is no P wave that can be seen prior to the complex. There are also irregular QRS complexes as seen here by the different length arrows that are representing the RR interval. So that's how to recognise AF on an ECG. Look at as many ECGs as possible to recognise a normal ECG and atrial fibrillation with the present with sorry with the absence of P waves and irregular R to R intervals. I hope that was useful. Thank you.